What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevo Zilla back with another video, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go about updating the firmware of your B Savior to the latest and greatest firmware. Now, this video was supposed to go live right after my last B Savior video that I did, you know, the whole unboxing and connecting it with the Zen and hooking things up, testing the waters and stuff like that, because you know I'm new to B Savior. So this video was supposed to go paired with that back to back to let you guys know, you know, in case you're suffering from any kind of issues with your B Savior, hey, here's how to update the firmware. Make sure you're on the latest and greatest. All right, but we was just hit with a big update for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 Pro Game Pack. So that had to come first. I'm sorry. Once there's an update for that game pack, it's a wrap. I have to cover that here on this channel ASAP. All right, we got a bunch of new stuff. In case you missed that video, check it out. It was literally like a couple hours ago I uploaded on this channel. Check it out. It's right before this one. All right, but let's jump straight into it without further ado. First thing first, you're going to want to go to bloader.com, their official website. All right. Now, I've been hearing a few a from a few people that their B Savior wasn't on the latest firmware. It was on a later firmware, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. Once you get your B Savior, first things first is to connect it to your PC just to double check and make sure that you are indeed on the latest firmware. If not, then watch this video and I'm going to show you how to go about just updating your uh, B Savior. All right. So once you're on this website, click forum. Okay. It's going to open up this page. Come down to BeSave Your English. Click on Download. Now, there's two, two things right here you're going to need to click. First one is the BeSave Your Manager version 1.1. You see right here, and latest firmware. Click that, all right? But this isn't the latest firmware, all right? This firmware right here is on the right. This isn't the latest, all right? Right here, you're going to need this. You're going to want this. The BeSave Your Manager version 1.1, all right? I'm pretty sure. Don't call me that. I'm pretty sure this ain't the newest one, all right? Because they just recently came out like about like maybe like a week ago i believe so about a week i've been waiting a very long time about b saver let me let me let me just say that so maybe mine came with a certain um firmware or i don't really remember but regards to what all right like i said it doesn't matter what firmware your b saver comes with just double check make sure I come on here and get the right stuff on the left right here b saver manager version 1.1 this is the app this is the application to update your b saver right that you're gonna need Click this. I already clicked that. I already installed it. Once you click it, you're going to have to extract just like everything else you installed and download onto your PC. Extract everything to wherever you wish, the desktop, wherever have you. Just extract all files, extract everything, okay? Then go back, okay? And make sure you click this right under it. Be Savior, new firmware. I'm on a bunch of numbers. I'm not repeating that. For PS5 Edge Controller, click this. Now, this is support for Bluetooth and the Edge Controller, but I want to say bluetooth for the b saver itself if you just hooking up the edge controller and not for the zen unfortunately like i said before i'm gonna say it again wirelessly bluetooth is not yet supported for the zen all right and we all know why we really want to be saver here in this channel is to use the zen on ps5 for ps5 version of the game so if you're hooking up the zen to your b saver obviously the zen has to also support in the controller and support via bluetooth now i already showed you my previous video no problems wired it, it works tremendously plug it and you're good to go all right with the edge controller but bluetooth still doesn't work all right even with this firmware because this firmware is for the b savior if you guys want to check it out try it out yourself go ahead if you have any type of success or found something let me know let everybody else know in the comment section down below but i tried this out i tested it and it's just not supported yet for the zen itself i right, hopefully one day it will sooner or later all right we're still waiting but the edge controller is supported wired 100 it is so you can plug it wired Keep it wired and you should be good to go. All right, that's the way I run it. All right, this is what you're going to want. So click this. I extract all files to where you want it to be. All right, I already did so. And now I'm going to show you guys what to do next with the B Savior controller. Okay, guys. So here is my B Savior all plugged up and ready to go. You're going to want to take the long USB cord that comes with your B Savior controller and plug it into the device in the back of the controller, all right, to the B Savior right here, the actual little square device right here not the controller itself there's a small usb slot i'll show you guys right here special usb slot right there boom usb c all right you're going to want to plug it into that just push her on in all right boom until it clicks and then you're good to go the other end goes plugged into your pc okay the other end goes plugged into any usb slot onto your pc and you're good to go okay guys so right here i got both extracted folders both extracted files right here you're going to want to click the B Savior one. The manager is going to open up the folder. It's going to open up wherever you have the folder at. All right. So, boom, you want to click it right here. The very bright neon green B, their logo right here, B Savior. Double click it. It's going to open her up and you're going to be greeted with this. 
Now, it shows right here in the bottom, the firmware of your controller. Mine is already up to date. You see that? It's already on the latest firmware. It's already up to date. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to go about loading the firmware through this app into your controller. Click load firmware up here. Click this. Okay. And then just navigate to wherever the folder is at, wherever your update firmware folder is at. All right. Open it up. Mine is on the desktop. So I go to desktop. It's right here. Double click. Once you double click, it's automatically going to open up into um, manager. Okay. Now from this point, all you have to do now is just click run. You see this little run button right here. Just click it and you're going to see these green arrows. It takes like about five to 10 seconds. It's not too long. And then boom, you are good to go. You update it to the latest firmware, click OK. And that's it. My numbers didn't change because I'm already on the latest firmware or whatever firmware I am, you know, installing. And that's it. Boom. Good to go. At this point, I could just X this out and just go about my merry way, hook up the B saver to whatever device and rock on. That was kind of cringy. I guess just go ahead, just hook it up however you're going to hook up your B-Savior, all right? Hope this video helped you out, and as always, take care, everyone. Till next time.